what's up guys welcome back to the beginning of this physics fundamental here inside blender in this course series i will show you guys the fundamental and in depth of physics in blender so when you just click here to this physics panel you see that we have a lot of things going on in this physics we have force field collision float dynamic solid body fluid rigid body and rigid body constraints for this tutorial, I'm starting with rigid body and I will show you in depth the fundamental and in deep and I will show you guys what you have not seen before in this tutorial. You will learn a lot, so subscribe and make sure you watch everything and make sure you learn and focus on this tutorial because you're going to like it. Okay, let's start and by default, we have a default QBA and our same. But for this tutorial, I want to get rid of everything. This thing, just press E to select all, then X, then click on delete. Okay, now we have a clean scene to place this origin back to the center. You just press Ctrl, then S, Shift and S, sorry, then cursor to world origin. All right, now we have that in the center. So the first thing we want to do now is to have a plane. A ground plane okay just press shift a go to mesh have a plane so the reason and the purpose of adding this plane is to have something that our mesh and the physics that we are running to run we stand on this and this will be the surface of the ground for this effect okay what we do now is just scale this up press s then scale it y like so okay so for this let me just add a thickness to this go to the modifier Click on add modifier now set it to solidify now by adding this solidify you can see some thickness going on and if you increase this thickness you can extend the thickness by far you can see you can even extend it the way you like but the default is okay all right so let's dive in you can see that we have this thing going on here okay so for this we need to extend our timeline and set everything properly so for this I just want to add this to 100 frames. I just click here to the end of this timeline and type 100. Okay, now I just drag this to the middle so I can see everything clearly. All right, for the effect and the rigid body we are adding, we need to add an object to this. Press Shift A, go to cube, then add a cube. Okay, for this cube, we need to raise this up to the top of this box. And you can see that in the Blender 2.8 series, we have some effect here that when you just drag this up, you can see that you can see the reflection of this box, the way it extends from the back. You can see, so you can use this to gauge when it stays on the cube. Okay, now we are in the surface. This box has stays on the surface of this plane, which is our ground. Okay, and that is exactly what we want. So when you play this, nothing happens. Okay, guys, now let's continue. Okay, so for what I want to do now is let me just show you what this rigid body does. So let's drag this up. Now let's rotate it. Let's give it a random rotation. Okay, and let's add this to a rigid body. You can just come here to this physics panel, and then click on rigid body. By adding this a rigid body, and Blender has already added some server to this that will make it fall. Okay, let me just lay this. You see that it's full and it has no end. Okay, the reason why it's doing this, the reason why it's doing that is because we have no collision on this surface. So for this, instead of adding collision, it won't work. What we do here is also click on this rigid body. And when you also click on this rigid body and you play this again, we have both objects coming down and it's foil and it will never come back. Okay, so what we can do to this plane is to change it from active. When you see this type here, just change from active to passive. That means the rigid body constraint will passive this cube that's active and it will display. Let me just show you. When you take, click on play right now, see that it just bounce then stop. Okay, and that is what the rigid body is. It adds some gravity to this and that will what make it fall. Okay, so in this settings down here, we have a lot of settings going on here. So let's click on this active object and this is passive object. Just note that. Okay, you can see here. So we have mass, which is the weight of this cube. 
so we can increase the weight you can just give it like 20 kg and when you play this it's very heavy you might not know now but in later in this tutorial we learn as that this is very heavy okay so let's come down here to this surface response okay now we can give it some friction and bounce bounciness so let's give this bounciness one percent and when it come down see that it's light a little you can see that so and this friction we can give it one also so when it bounce it slides and when you give it no friction see what it does you see that it stays okay so let's give it some friction so because we want this to slide and do everything okay that is that about rigid body and let's go deep okay so first thing i'm gonna do now is just increase the size of this in the y axis just press edit this wireframe let's select this side click here then drag it i'll just drag it like so okay this is wide enough for what i'm looking for okay so what i do now is to animate this i will drag this back just leave this here and i will create another active object so to do this i first of all to go to the center of this just press shift a check press shift s let's go to the world origin center first now press shift a add a cube also now this cube we are adding we have to make it very big press s to scale up press s and z to scale it on the z axis okay we just drag this up okay then drag it aside i think this is way too big we just scale it down okay it's good for me now we drag it down all right so you can check whether this is sitting on the surface of our collision object okay so when i just add this also as a rigid body and this is what happened this bounce off and this flow down this that is what it does because that is exactly what it's doing the reason why this bounce off is because this we cannot get the surface properly so that's why it's bouncing off so what are we doing now let me just drag this up and you see that it's come down because we don't really get the surface of this properly that is why it's bouncing off don't worry i will also show you how to fix that in a bit okay guys now so the essence of adding this other cube is because we want this to affect this and to eat it and forth so to do that you have to keyframe this cube and to do keyframe i will show you the right way of doing keyframe and the traditional way of doing keyframe in blender so the way and to do keyframe in blender is to press on i when you click i we have keyframe and we have a lot of presets and settings here and the one we are using is the location because we are transforming the location of this cube okay so to add a keyframe just press i and click on the location okay now we have a keyframe here you can see this mark this yellow and what happened is that in the beginning of the frame this will stay here and that is what happened all the time so what we want to do now is to just get this to the 10th frame now let's click on this 10th frame and drag this close to the cube okay so what you notice that when dragging this close to the cube it move back it go back to the normal position it go back it go back so to fix this we have to click on this animation and the reason why this is doing that is because it's rigid body and it's not animated that is why it will only affect the rigid body and fall as according to the gravity added on this okay so when you click on this animated so this is animated and you can see that it's automatically snap back to where i put it so i just make it close just like this and also press i don't forget to press i and add another location keyframe so we have two keyframe here which move from here to here so what you notice here is that this also move and stays to the location and it doesn't affect or do any rigid body be added it's not even like we add a rich body to this before so the way we can fix this is to make sure we have this animated and they also to make sure we it has the rigid body constraint on it and to do this we have to animate this and also to tweak this animation and keyframe it 
So the way we should go about this is to also add a keyframe here and this keyframe. Just click on this here. This automatically add a keyframe to this. And the second frame, instead of adding the keyframe to animated here, so we just go to the frame before we add this keyframe, which is the ninth frame. So uncheck this keyframe, which means we don't have any keyframe in frame nine, and click here to add the frame to that, which is the animation keyframe. Now we have another keyframe here. So this 10 is the normal keyframe we add, which is the cube for the cube, and this is the animation from this rigid body constraint. Okay, so what will happen is that when you play this, it has a keyframe during this period to 10, but within the nine, the keyframe stops. So it eats the object. So let me play this for you and see what's going on. You can see that it eats the object and stop. That is what's happening. Okay, so, and the reason why you're using that, you can see that is because we have this keyframe and all of this keyframe in frame nine. Okay, so just scroll down and see something down here. So what happens is that when I play this, this even come here, you can see that this cube moves a bit before the object eats it, you can see. So to fix that, let me just move it up clearly so you can see what I'm talking about. So when I play this, this guy is falling before this eats it. And to make it stop, to make it affect this before eating it is to add is to tell Blender that this must eat this before it moves. Okay, you might not understand the way I say it, but I will show you. Let me just quickly grab this. Okay, I will show you what I mean. So I I roughly drag this up. You can see that it's even it's still coming down. You can see it has some movement and it. So we need to fix that. Okay, let me show you clearly. So let me drag it up back so you can see it clearly. You can see it's coming down before it eats it. So to do that, just click on this object here, which is the animate, which is the meat weight object. This, this is not this is the animate object, and this is the rock, which is the which we were eating off. So just come down, scroll down, and go to the dynamic. Just click on this dynamic and scroll down also. So you need to click on this dictate activation. So by clicking on this deactivation, just scroll down here. We are asked to set a start the activation. So basically, what we are saying is that this should affect and it should add the rigid body constraint on it when this eat it. So when you play this right now, it stop, it doesn't move before the animation touch it. You can see so it moves, starts moving only when the animation touch it. And this might not make more sense to you now, but in later in depth, when we are going in depth of this tutorial, you will understand the reason why we must have this on on before doing any animation okay just eat it and it's four okay you know that we have some mass and weight here and this weight we add to this is 40 so i can decrease this weight let's put it back to one and also this back to one so when you play this now you see that it flew away because the weight is diff is the same and this weight this is bigger object and we must have a different weight okay according to the real world so we must add a different weight to this so as long as you add a 30 weight to this and this should be in one, you see that it's affected less because of the weight, you can see. All right, so we can just give this also like five weight and you can see it's affected more. All right, you can see that. And that is how to do this. Okay. All right. So the next, I want to add this to come down a bit. So it won't animate until it touch it. So we can do this now. You can see that it doesn't flee up the way it's doing before. All right. You can see that it's flee up. So we can add more weight to this, like 50 pack or 50. So you can see the way this is falling and the way it's rolling off with big is because this object has a five weight on this and it is heavy. You can see that the movement of eating this, the velocity is very high. So that's why it's eating is so hard. You can see that the movement here is very, very fast. You can see. So that's why it is so hard and flee off like that. Okay. 
So thanks for the watching of this first tutorial and the second part of this tutorial. We are doing fraction, which is this fraction, self fraction in Blender. And you might know about self fraction, but I will show you a basic and in depth of this fraction, the way you can use it to break objects. And I will show you good stuff about this. So this is the first tutorial of this series of this physics fundamental. So the second tutorial, I will show you this fraction. And thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next part of this tutorial.